Blog Talk Radio. your girl. Nope, I won't even go there. Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plan. It's your girl, Riri. And me. It's just me today. Okay? All right. So wrap your mind around that for a minute. Don't be sad. Coco, you know Coco was living her best life. All the prizes went out for the people who were able to inbox, DM, and all that good stuff for um, telling me where Coco went. So envelopes are in the mail, and hopefully you should have some happy mail soon, and I hope to make you happy, 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 happy. Oh, you guys. You guys, uh, first I'd like to apologize for not having a show last weekend. Your girl was sounding like Weezy F Baby. You hear me? Breathing like a gorilla and everything. Like it was so bad that um, at one point I was asleep and I was dreaming of a baby crying. And when I woke up, bitch, the baby was me. I was wheezing so bad it sounded like a baby was whining. So I came home. I had to give myself some breathing treatments. I was really sad about um, not being able to record. Like, so I know for you guys it's fun and you like to listen sometimes, but for me it's everything, right? Like this show is, I don't want to call it my baby because that's what people say, but it's like one of my favorite things to do. It's it's one of the things that I literally look forward to each week. Um, and so not being able to record really hurt my feelings because I felt like I was letting somebody down. I don't want to call it a fan, but I was letting somebody down. And so if I let you down last week, I'm so, so sorry here and better than ever. Okay, so start off, what am I drinking? What are you drinking? Let me know. Send me a message. You can call in if you'd like, since I'm alone and all. You can call in at 515-602-9680. Again, that number is 515-602-9680. You're more than welcome to call in, tell me what you're drinking, or you can always slide in my DMs. You know, it's my favorite place for you to be um, at Real Talk with Riri on IG. Um, let me see. You might even be able to message me on on Facebook, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But you know how to get in touch with me if you'd like to partake in this conversation. Um, we are always live uh, in the realist. I don't know if you in there, but baby, baby, I be telling y'all stuff in there, stuff that everybody don't know. And so, um, if you'd like to uh, check it out, let me know. We'd love to. Um, we'd love for you to call in and join us. We'll be talking about stuff, laughing at books, all kind of stuff over there. Um, a secret that nobody knows yet. Well, maybe one person knows, but I'm going to tell you. Maybe two people know, but I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? Are you ready? So on Blog Talk Radio, it kind of keeps track of your statistics, and I had a goal set out for me and the show, and I would like to say that we have reached over 2,000 listens. Yay! I wish I had some, some applause clued up queued up. Like, listen, this is the kind of stuff that I want to do. So I know that 2,000 people have listened, over 2,000, not different people, but over 2,000 people have, they, they listen to me. 
they listen to me and Coco and whatever other guests that I've had on the show. And, and for that, I like to say thank you. It really, really, really means a lot to, you, to me. Um, and like I said, it, I'm not going to call it my baby, but I will say that it is um, – one of my favorite things to do, and I really, really, really enjoy it. So thank you for over 2,000 listens. Thank you for, you know, keeping up with the mess, honey, because I know that's what you come for, the mess, the mess, the tea, the gag. I love it. So, of course, um, listen, this Cafe Bustello, Bustello, Cafe Bustello, yeah, there you go, got me in a chokehold. You hear me? I got got it with the peppermint mocha today. I tried to do less sugar because when I was at this last event, um, just D, excuse me, was saying that she actually likes the way coffee tastes. And I'm like, I do too. I just like it sweet. So I was trying, trying less sugar. Mmm. And it's still good. You hear me? It's still good. Um, I'm really excited. So today, tonight, I'm going to be talking about a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the last event that I went to, which was the Pink Planner Ladies event, um, hosted by the Cover Up Queens. They are based out of Texas. However, their event, this go-round, was in Nashville. It was phenomenal. The second thing that I'm going to talk about is just straight up, let's just call it what it is, liars and why people lie and the types of lies there are. Because there are several types of lies and, you know, I'm interested. And the next thing we're going to talk about, I know y'all talk tired of it. You tired? I don't care. We talk about freebies again. Again. Okay, yeah, again. Well, kind of. Freebies and swag and table make gifts. It's it's been on my mind uh, a lot more. And I'm, I'm I'm getting more focused, right? I'm getting more focused on the things that I spend my money on and, and the things that I keep around in the craft lab. Because right now, truth be told, I am over fucking whelmed with the amount of shit that I have right now. And I don't I don't know. Um <clears throat> so anyway. Um, without further ado, let's go. So let me just play this song for y'all because y'all don't know. Um, Grease and Grease. So there is a big, big discrepancy on which one is the best, Grease 1 or Grease 2. And from what I have heard, people who enjoy Grease 1 do not enjoy Grease 2. And people who enjoy Grease 2 don't enjoy Grease 1. But what I found is that if you saw Grease 2 before you saw Grease 1, you like Grease 2 better. So which one do you like? I personally like Grease 2 because the music is more, you know, upbeat. Um, it's, it's cornier, yeah. But, I mean, come on. All this shit is corny, right? I mean... It's corny, right? Um, but <clears throat> song, you got to hear it. Here we go. Let's see. She loved Coca-Cola. And so everybody got these gray Coca-Cola jackets because she actually won them from, like, turning in, you know, when people used to have, like, bottle tops and stuff like that. So she turned in all this stuff. And so she was able to get, excuse me, the whole family these um, 
Coca-Cola jacket. And so I was the youngest, so I didn't get the one that matched them. I got a pink one. When I wrote pink ladies on the back of that jacket, my mama was pissed. You hear me? I'm talking about P-I-S-S-E-D, pissed, pissed. And I was just so excited because I loved it. How dare you be upset? Uh Uh-oh. Hopefully my mic volume is doing better. Let's see. Those of you that are listening live, let me know if I'm still cutting in and out. Um, um, okay, so my mom was so hot with me in that pink lady's jacket. But, baby, I wore it, and I was so proud. So I was really, really excited to come to the event because – um, y'all know about my whole probation situation. Um, and so you know that I have to ask permission to, like, go out of state and stuff. So, A, I was um, accepted to go out of state. And so I got to go. And um, I was also excited because, duh, Greece, hello. And so I got a, a pink lady jacket. So, first of all, coming in to the event, it was decorated to the team. Every table, it was decorated with, like, records, old records, like the whole thing, the whole table, it was nice. There was a bag there set up with, it had your name on it. It had, um, like, the tips. It had um, a few stickers, some planner supplies. It had something to drink in it. And most of them had alcoholic beverages. I didn't even know this at the time, but they had something to drink in them. Most of them had alcoholic beverages. But because they know that I'm on them papers and I don't drink right now, mine had like a crystal, one of those crystal icy water thingies. And I thought that was so phenomenal. Right, like to pay attention to detail like that. So your your jacket, your bag, everything was personalized. If you didn't spring for the um, most expensive ticket um, that gave you the jacket, which really was only like twenty five dollars different, but if you didn't get that ticket, then you got um, a t shirt that said like Planner Ladies, I believe, or Pink Ladies. Um, Either way it go, it was really, really nice. Um, so um, when you first came in, you, all you did was, like, you know, talk and mingle. It was a very small crowd, um, only with about five people at each table. Um, so about 25 people, very quaint crowd, very nice. Everybody was so fun and welcoming. But when you first came in, it was immediately go time. You hear me? Like we did, like uh, bingo. Pinko, so it was an ongoing bingo game where you were able to, you know, win a prize. Then we did like a share your skills kind of thing. So you, uh, everybody gave like a planner tip for everyone because, you know, we all like to learn from each other. We don't just, you know, um, you know, hoard ideas or whatever. We try to, uh, you know, share. So everybody, like, types up a, you know, uh, and a uh, a tip. What, what the fuck? I can't talk. Sorry. Not enough coffee. Hold on. Let me take a sip. Okay. So um, then after that, what do we do? We did bingo. We did that. We did Grease Trivia, of course. Listen, you want me to tell you who won that? I did five guesses. Yes, yes. It was me. I won. <laughs> because your girl know her Grease. And I was fast with it, quick with it, quick with it. I mean, they was asking questions like how many T-Birds were there? What was the point of the movie? How did the how did the movie end? And you know what the crazy part is? They didn't ask not one Grease 2 question. I was so sad about that because Grease 2 is the shit. Listen, listen, it's the shit. Believe me. Um, 
What else did we do? Um, we got a chance to blink out our jackets. We got a chance to make, um, you know, those cute bows that people put on their planners. I have several of them. I was never really into them, but I have several um, because, you know, you don't know what you like until you have it. Um, and so they're okay. But I got, I made a pink, I mean, I made a bow uh, for Anastasia. And so it's a fall looking bow. It's brown, got a little gold, bling, bling. Because again, I am remind I was reminded that I'm just a stud that likes sparkly shit um, and makeup. Don't forget that part. Um, so that was nice. Um, what else did we? Oh, we made a breast cancer awareness pin because some of our tickets, um, some of our ticket sale, um, was donated to the um, Susan Coleman, I think, Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we had got a chance to eat. And so <clears throat> lunch was really good. This is what I really liked about it. It was a variety of breads, condiments, and meats. And so you went down like a, a line and, you know, there were tongs. And so nobody touched any, you know, had to touch anything. But you could like make your own sandwich. And so I just made my own, like, wheat bread. But it was really good. I really wanted to go back. They had dessert. They had all kind of drinks. Um, for the people who were drinking alcohol, they had mimosas. And I was so, so grateful, so impressed that they came over and brought me my own big-ass bottle of, um, like, sparkling grape juice. It was so thoughtful, so considerate um for them to make sure that I had something that sparkled that was just for me. Um I really think that that is where <clears throat> lots of these events miss the mark. Not because I'm special, but because people have have needs that every, everybody doesn't need the same thing. There were vegetarian options in case someone decided that they were a vegetarian. They could have a lettuce and tomato sandwich that was just as filling. There was lots of chips, lots of drink options, and it wasn't like, oh, you don't drink? Let me make sure that you don't, you know, like it wasn't like, oh, let me give you another bottle of water. No, I still had drink options, you know, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, whatever, whatever. And I think that's where, like I said, people miss the mark. They don't offer a seafood option or they don't offer a vegetarian option, and then the people are just left eating just leftovers. And, you know, I'm very curious to see um, how this is handled at SGS this year because last year they gave them, like, some spaghetti with – some ish on top, and the only other option was just to get the noodle, the spaghetti noodles by itself, which everybody know buttered noodles ain't filling. That ain't something you want. You just you just eat it because you ain't got nothing else to eat. And so if you're going to pay all that money for a ticket, I think it's only fair for you to get what you pay for to get the same experience that everybody else gets. And so there you go. Um, The first question. Hmm. Hold on, let's see. I can. Hold on, y'all. I'm doing some troubleshooting here because I was told that we are in and out. Okay. Okay. I hope this is better. Um, so um, let's see. Um, what was I talking about? So, um, yeah, I think that's where places miss the mark because they don't give people the same experience that they were looking for. Oh, okay. I see what the center. Um, they've given people the same experience, that, and I just don't think that that's 
you know, fair to them. Um, we did a planner stack picture. I don't know if I have a copy of that planner stack picture, but I'm going to see if I can find it. But, man, that just the plan, she made sure that everything got stacked on top of each other. It didn't even topple over. Like, not one planner hit the floor not one time. Uh, <laughs> you're not a distraction. You're helping me. I appreciate you. Um um, so none of the planners hit the floor, and I really, really like that. And I had two planners up there. This uh, one lady that was at my table had these giant, I swear them discs was five inches. I, they were huge discs on um, on uh, uh, on her planner, and she had it on a cover-up queen. It was a classic size. But, man, when I tell you those discs were, like, five inches, <laughs> they were huge. I couldn't believe it. Um, um, oh, that's sweet. Okay, so uh, JC says that the inclusivity, I said that right the first time, yay, that I'm talking about is really important. Not just can you exist here, but how can you exist and have the same experience as everyone else? And that's what I really love about it. Um, didn't make me feel othered. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, we're going to make a big announcement. Hey, Erica, you don't drink. Have this. It was like, I think I heard her whisper in in Sonya's ear. She said something like, we got something special for Erica. And that was it. And then when everybody was offering mimosas, I was like, let me get some of that juice, girl, you know, just joking around. And when they came around, they were like, no, ma'am, we got something special for you. And I just thought that was really sweet. Um, um, So we did the breast cancer awareness pin, which was really nice. Um, Then we ate lunch. After we ate lunch, what else did we do? We created so much stuff. We did. Oh, we got some planning time in. Oh, we did a dance. I learned to dance. It was called the Flex. I think it was by the same person who did like the Cha Cha Slide or the Wobble or something like that. And then I thought one of them died, but apparently I was wrong and I made that up. But um, so we did that, which was really cool. We took table pictures. I went around and I interviewed. Oh, and of course we shopped. We shopped till we dropped. The Copper Peony was there. Um, I want to say her name is Tamara. Tamara? Anyway, she was there, and um, she sells cups, um, like epoxy, glitter, spicy cups with the little ice cubes and stuff on top, and those were really, really cute. I haven't bought a cup yet because y'all know my sister is the cup guru and so I just I just don't because I have so many freaking cups because of my sister um but I have bought several tops that she has she always has the best I have one sweater that I got now that says sweater weather and it is in my favorite colors it is black with like turquoise teal sparkly glitter that says sweater weather. Uh, 55 got one that says game day. Uh, I'm just here for the snacks. I got a pink lady shirt. Um, The last one I got was planner girl. So I have lots of merchandise from her. What I love the absolute most is that there is no fat tax. Do you know what a fat tax is? I didn't. Uh, Plans and JC made a post about it, and it really made me think. Um, fat tax is when you charge uh, fat people more for their shirts. Do they need more material? Yes. Yes, we do. Should we always be charged for it? No. You can make every shirt maybe a dollar or two dollars more in order for you to not charge fat people punishment for being fucking fat. Um, So, I mean, large, very good point. A large and an extra small are different sizes, but nobody is charging a large for more material. 
for for more material than they do for a small or extra small. You're using very similar patterns. It's not um it, it's not that big of a deal. JC says they don't just charge materials, they charge for the design. And the design doesn't really change. You're not using much more. My my wording is not gonna be bigger than your wording. Because you're gonna use the same size. It's just on a bigger shirt. So why are you charging me ten dollars more for a four eight shirt? Just because. And I never really thought about it like that. Um once I heard her say it, it did make sense. Like, you can charge everybody 25 for the shirt and then just build that into the extra cost for the bigger shirts that you have to, to do. And, um, yeah, so I'm here for it. So do I not buy if they offer a fat tax? No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that at all. But do I give you more business? for not having a fat tax. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I just feel like I feel like you respect me a whole lot more. Another thing about the copper peony that I loved so much was the fact that when I saw her at an event in January, I specifically mentioned that I wanted to purchase something from her but she did not have big girl sizes. And she said, you know, I'm listening to my customer base. So when I saw her the next time at an event, although she did not have a plus size shirt with her at that moment, I was able to order it at the same price and have it shipped to my home at no extra cost. That is customer service. That right there is knowing your customers and being accommodating and and knowing exactly how to maintain relationship with your customers. Because do I need another shirt that's a plan or anything? No. But will I always buy it because you're taking care of me as a customer? Goddamn right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, And that's what I love. So now every time... I see her, not only have I bought from her, but Sonya has also purchased. Um, and that speaks volumes because she don't be buying shit. She proved it in a motherfucker. So, <laughs> you know, the fact that everything wasn't just planner related also speaks to knowing your audience. You know that some of those people are just getting drugged there. <laughs> you know that. Uh so the fact that you have something else um, that wasn't as feminine-centered, you know, um, like I say, it speaks to customer service, knowing your audience, and all of that. Another um, place that was there vending was Vodka and Tonic Design um, with just D plans. She offers um, what she calls a script experience. She has all the scripts in the world. My favorite is fuck this, fuck that, fuck it, fuck you, fuck off, (laughs) fuck up. Um, And um, that really (laughs) cracks me up. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention that the Copper Peony, her Instagram is the Copper Peony Co., I think. Um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that might be it. Let me, maybe not. It's something like that. I made a reel that has the Copper Peony on it, and it has all of her, you can see lots of her products. She also makes uh, cups, shirts, sweatshirts. She also makes, um, like, Coasters, binders, keychains, all that epoxy resin type things that are really cool. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, Vodka and Tonic Designs, I made a reel for her also. Um, I'm getting really good at these reels too, y'all. Y'all got to see them. Um, I'm just trying some new stuff um, to see if I can get out there. I also want to try and go live, but that'll be something else that we'll talk about toward the end of the show. Um, um, Vodka and Tonic Designs, 
sell scripts. Um, my favorite scripts, like I said, are the fuck off, fuck this, fuck that, because you don't know how many times I say or write that or just say it in my head. Um, it really makes <laughs> It makes it fun to do it. I'm getting on my monthly remixes next year because I need to use my stash so bad. So that's going to help fill in some of those gaps with those scripts, and I really love it. She also has some cuties um, that are doll, deco dolls. Um, so she had a lot of those to offer. She has some new dark academia notes, and she had a few more kits that were fallish and she had this really cute pink winter one with this pink uh, snowman that was really cute um if you shop with her you can use code erica i don't know how much you say maybe 10 percent, 20 percent, something um uh so that'll be really really cute uh um for you to check out um i'll share her uh, the reel that I made in her story. And, of course, we had the cover up queens. They were there, and they were vending. I know y'all have heard me talk about Gigi. Gigi is my planner. For those of you that are listening that are not planner babes, Gigi is my planner, and I love her. She is like a child to me because I spend time with her every day. That is how you have to love your planners. You have to love them every day so that you can get in the habit of using your planner to help you function in your life. Okay. Off my evangelist platform. (laughs) But um, they are the ones who made Gigi for me. Not just for me, but for everybody. It is a quarterly system that includes everything. But you can also just purchase covers. And this little, when they sell these covers, they come with this little belt. I call it a Gucci belt. But it comes with this little belt to keep it closed. So you know how some have, like, the sideways bands? This is kind of like a band that goes across it. And I love it. It's just a cute little Gucci belt. Keep your your planner closed. Give it a little cute little classy design. And you're not going to see anybody else with anything like that. Um, They also sold sweatshirts. They have these um, Hogwarts-inspired colors uh, sweatshirts that they were selling that have planner there they say planner girl magic and their planner the inside of each one they have a planner girl shirt um again do i have all of these things absolutely (laughs) did they initially have anything my size absolutely not but you know what they did they did the exact same thing they told me that they could order it and have it shipped directly to me That is customer service. That is what I love. Um, And, again, you've heard all the things that I've said about how they paid attention to detail. The best thing about the event, and I have have interviewed so many people um, about it and have made reels. I have one more to post with some other tables, but um, the thing that they have, going for them the most is that there was not a moment, a dull moment. There were activities to keep you engaged, to keep you doing something all the time. There were giveaways and you won things. But here's what I noticed that was different. And it's, it's a good thing for me because of how overwhelmed I feel with stuff. And I know that we as planners sometimes have so much fucking stuff. Like, it's stuff. Wait, let me just say, give you the number again. If you want to call in, it's 515-602-9680. Again, it's 515-602-9680. What I noticed the most was that there wasn't a whole bunch of junk just given out. One of the things that we were given, I mean, all the things that we were given was actually useful stuff, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Okay, so last night when we were talking in shenanigans, 
Um, y'all hear me? Shout out to my shenanigans who always listen and support. I really appreciate you guys so much. You're always so helpful, um, and you always, you know, warm my heart. So thank you to my shenanigan crew. But last night when we were just shenanigans, we were talking about being overwhelmed with all the stuff that you get sometimes when you go to these conferences. And what I've noticed at the last two events is it feels like they were very intentional with the swag that was provided. It wasn't a bunch of those little bitty sheets that just kind of say your name. When you got something, it was a sheet. (laughs) It was a full sheet, and it was able to be used. It wasn't a whole lot of um, just miscellaneous shit. So one of the things that we got that was very different in forms of swag was something called – you hear me rattling so I could find it. It was something called coffee stick. Um, I haven't used it yet. I haven't used it yet because I want to use it um uh record myself using it. But it was basically like the sugar, the cream, and the coffee all like seized up in a stick. And you put it in the hot water or you put it in the coffee and you stir it and it sweetens your coffee for you. Listen, that was brilliant because even if you're not a coffee drinker, there was one that just was for like hot cocoa or for tea or whatever. And so that was very useful. Another thing that we got as swag was like um, some body butter lotion stuff from, let's see. I know y'all like, girl, you should have been ready. Um, from Shea Butter, Shea Butter Baby. Wait, I'm lying. <laughs> it is from, no, I wasn't lying too hard. Let's see. I'm not opening snacks. I'm opening the Shea Butter or the Body Butter. Oh, shit. Sorry. Cute little bag, and it is called Shea Organic Skin Care. Um, and this is some body cream. Um, the ingredient, uh, their um, Instagram handle is at Shea, S-H-A-E dot organic dot skin care. And this is called a Field of Roses Body Cream. And it's not even open, and I can smell it. And it's not that obnoxious rose smell either. It smells really soft. The cream is really thick. I'm rubbing it on, and it's nice and, you know, ooh. ooh. (laughs) It's soft. It's not greasy. So, mm, it's very, very aromatic and I really like that. Um I like that. We were gifted some washi that was from Creativity and in Ink. Um it was like a Halloween type washi. Um one of them looks Harry Potter inspired. Um I really like that. As you know, a powder head. But even if you aren't, you could use it, and it looks like it'll be Halloween-y. Um, so that was good. So, like I said, it was just very intentional. We got some things also from IMA Design. Um, she is a small shop. She draws or her husband draws everything from, uh, like, from scratch, and so that was really good. And we got something from a girl, Shop the Paper Fan. Shout out to Christian, um, who always supports uh, Blog Talk. I mean, Blog Talk Radio, Real Talk, Real Plan. Um, she sent some icons that had, like, the Think Pink vibe. So it said, like, Think Pink, girl, put your record on. And it was really, really cool. So I was really excited about that. Um, 
the only thing that I would have added to this event was the man not taking away the sandwich bar as fast as he did. Because y'all know, your girl wanted to make a sandwich for later because I'd be hungry. And he took that shit away swift, fast, and in a hurry and did not even care that your girl needed a tomato. I was like, dang. Luckily, <clears throat> my people know I'd be hungry. So we all went out to eat later on and we went to um, a hibachi spot so that everyone could have drinks and have some fun, have some good time. So it was it was really, really nice. So I hope that you guys have um, watched some of the um, reels that I made, that I'm trying new things, and um, um, enjoyed them. And also, I hope that you check out some of the shops, right? Like, they... They just do the damn thing. Um, Another good thing about Shay and Rinda, which are the cover-up queens, is they said that they would like to meet with me to ask for feedback about the planner that I've been using all year. How many many people – listen, how long you been using Happy Planner? Don't worry. I'm going to wait. How long – have you been using Happy Planner or Passion Planner? Hmm? How long have you been using Kane's Planner over at, uh, what's his name, Print Pressure? Have they ever asked to meet with you to discuss feedback? Have they ever asked what you as a customer, as a consistent customer, want in a planner, what feedback you have? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Thank you so much, JC. I'm so glad that you love the interview reels. It makes me happy because I want to try more of those. I was going to play them on the podcast, but since I was sick, I just went ahead and released a lot of them. I have one more to uh, to release that I've already done, so y'all be on the lookout. Um, um, shout out to Her Disorganized Plans for talking to people about feedback about the planners. Listen, that's the only name I've gotten in my DM. Her disorganized plans is the only person who cares other than who the cover of Queens. Now, listen, I'm not saying that they're not asking somebody, but how are they sending, like, anonymous surveys even? Are they saying what else would you like to see in this expensive-ass $150 planner that you're purchasing? No, they're not. That is what makes cu- – listen. You will always get a customer in me if I know that you think and value what I as a customer has to say. Let me tell y'all this. Listen, I got stuff to say today. Okay, so have you ever heard of Keith Lee? Okay. I had not heard about him, but I watched a few of his videos not knowing who he was, right? He is a food critic who goes to these different food places and basically can make or break some spots, right? And so he's finally made his way here to Atlanta. Listen, listen. So I was watching, a, I follow this news site like ATL Uncensored News. It's usually really funny stuff about what's happening here in Atlanta because Atlanta is fucking unhinged sometimes. Not like Florida because Florida fucked up. But (laughs) Atlanta is pretty funny sometimes. So anyway, there was a a clip about him being in Atlanta and going to a popular restaurant called Milk and Honey over on Camp Creek. No, not Camp Creek down in Atlanta. You heard the way I said it, Atlanta, right. So um, he went down there, and they tried to call in the order. You couldn't call in the order. And then you, he tried to uh, go order. They called it in. You couldn't call in the order. 
You could only do takeout through DoorDash. They went through DoorDash. DoorDash said they was closed. So they went down there, and when he went down there, the doors was wide open, but they said they was closed for deep cleaning. Now, of course, he always sends his people inside because he's so well-known that people know who he is. And so they was like, fine, we're going to go in. And so they wouldn't. They weren't able to go in. They couldn't get their meal. He goes to the door, or they see him somehow, and then they offer to make him some food. He says no because I'm regular, degular, just like everybody else. And so if you go, you not you weren't going to do it for me before. You're not going to do it for me now. And he left. He didn't say anything bad about the business, but he left with no food. Um, he said that everybody was kind or nice, but the rules just didn't make no sense because Atlanta rules, period, right? They It's crazy, crazy, unhinged. So um, today, of course, Milk and Honey releases a video, and it's like, Three people sitting on a couch. It looks like a mom, a dad, and a daughter. And the mom goes, oh, did you see this video by Keith Lee about the milk and honey restaurant? And the dad goes, who? The daughter responds, you know, Keith Lee, the the food critic. And the dad just kind of looks and goes, I don't know that man. Now, customer service. He didn't say nothing bad about y'all. He just told his experience. But the people in the comments was going so ham because that's their experience too. He lost so, he, he, they missed the mark so bad because they could have said, hey, Keith, we fucked up. We hope you'll give us another try. He could have, they could have said that. But instead they chose to make another petty video, which Why? I mean, they didn't say nothing bad about them when they made their little comment. They just said keep being positive. But they did not address the customer service issues that they have. Have I ever been to Milk and Honey? Absolutely not. Will I try? No. Now, when Keith went to this other um, restaurant down here called Juicy Jerk, I watched him eat that, and I was like, ooh, that's going to be dinner for today. Baby, I pulled up Juicy Jerk Instagram today, and they had a line out the door. So I wasn't able to go today. But you know who who, who did? The rest of Atlanta who saw Keith's video. So they missed the mark. You get what I'm saying? Like, they accepted that feedback. He saw their he, – he, when he got to the other place and had their food, they knew what they were doing. And so people went off his word. So if that many people went to the other spot off his word, how many people like me are not going to the other spot off his word alone, off his experience? So that's what I'm saying. I want you guys to go check out these other, you know, um, shops because I'm not going to just have you going somewhere and giving you my experience and – um leave you out there. And so, of course, with that being said, let's just talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? Let me sip my coffee. Okay. Did you know that someone told the people at Georgia Planet, I mean, the the some of the attendees at Georgia Planners and Crafters Return to Tiffany event that a shop owner was going to be owner um, that I used to PR for that doesn't mail off their products. She said that she was going to be the speaker at that event. Well, I told you how someone approached me and asked me about it, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, this weekend at the same at the, the Pink Ladies event, someone mentioned this same shop owner who I used to PR for and said that she was also 
told that she was going to be the keynote speaker at this Pink Ladies Planner event. Now, I don't know if you know anything about the cover of Queens, but baby, one thing they ain't going to do is keynote speaker. They're not going to have no damn speaker. That is their selling point. Their selling point is that they are a planner party. They are an experience. They are not there to give you a pep talk. They are there to let you let your hair down and have some fun, to learn some new things, to get to know some new people, and to just turn up the way that you need to. It's not even about, it is not even about a keynote speaker. So for you to say, to tell somebody else that you are a keynote speaker at this event, I am so ashamed. I am so ashamed. And if you are in the realist, you know exactly who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. If you need to know, join the realist. But, baby, I I can't. I can't. I'm so ashamed. I cannot believe that my name was once attached. It was not this bad when my name was attached. Now, when my name was attached, she was doing some things that were sketchy. Yes. Um, morally corrupt, absolutely. But she was not quite scamming people's money out of them. She wasn't just outright lying about it. Now, remember I said at the beginning we was going to talk about lying. She was just telling them, these are the worst kind of, oh, my God. These are the worst kind of lies. These are voluntary lies. Why would you volunteer? For, why? Why are you volunteering these lies? Ain't nobody asked you for that. She asked you for her order. You don't have to tell her you coming to speak at something that she's going to just so you can bring her her order. Just mail her her shit. Taking a long time. You were shady, but now you're just straight up lying. Thank you, JC. Just lying. And I just, I hate it. I hate that my name was ever attached. Um, and now that my name is attached, it's, it's been, um, and I've, I've detached myself. Now she's like reaching out, reaching for me. And I told, um, my shenanigan friends about it and they told me that that's normal and it really creeps me out because leave me alone. You, you pissing me off. You pissing me off because I don't like that. Now I ain't never been no good liar. Never, ever, because my face tell on me. I don't know if you ever, have you ever seen me? Probably not, because I don't be, I I mean, I guess I used to do reels with my face. I'm going to do another one so y'all can see my face. But my face, it it be like, it don't lie. It don't lie good. So, uh, uh, don't, don't keep coming over here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone now. Because it get ugly. I ain't on probation for no reason. Okay. Okay. So um, I just don't like voluntary lies, and I don't like compulsive liars. And it just seems like that's all that this is. It's just com- compulsive. Like, why? <laughs> can, you, can you stop it? Can you stop? No? Why not? I need you to stop. I need you to stop lying because it's not cool. It's not cool, buddy. Not cool at all. Um, and I, I, I really, I really hate it. I really hate it for her. I really hate it for the people whose name are attached. I really hate it for the people who are falling for these um, 80% sales. How can you make a profit of 80%? And here's another thing. If you tell me to make a purchase and use a certain platform, like, hey, purchase using Apple Pay, and I'll give you a gift card back in the same amount, that's crazy. And agreeing with JC, if you think about it, of course, you know that they're going to find out that you're not speaking at the event because they're at the event that you lied about being at. So at some point, they're going to say, her name ain't on no marquee. Her name ain't on no itinerary. Her name ain't on this program. It don't seem like she's here. And then when they inbox you, what you supposed to say? Hello? 
I just, it's, it's irritating. It's irritating and it's aggravating. And I really hate that um, so many of these people um, have fallen into this. And it wasn't just me knowing about it at our table and the lady who, um, shout out to Nita from Nashville. Uh, it wasn't just Miss Nita that got caught up on it. Somebody else at my table, uh, Nona's mixed bag, she said she knew about it and had been telling the lady that she was trash and that she needed to improve her business model. And this is what I, I hate that for our small owned businesses, not just small-owned black businesses, but small-owned businesses, period, because shops are closing down right and left. Did you hear that Kevin A. Creates is shutting down his shop, along with what used to be Piper Paper Co., uh, which is now Jessica Aaron Designs, they're closing, and I think Denim Paper Planes has said that she's closing, which... I thought she was already closed, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, I mean, people are out here struggling and and doing what they love, and here you are, um, you know, fucking over folks. And that's not cool. Um, I really don't like it, and I, I hate it, actually. So I hope that she continuously has the day that she deserves. Um, I really hope that somehow, some way, people are able to get their items from her or get their money back, Um, you know, all that good stuff, because it's not cool. She's not cool. It's not cool. I don't like it. Um, Oh, Nona's next bag said that the shop needs to change their business model um, to improve a long time ago, before before all of the scamming happened. Um, she was somebody else that was sitting at my table that knew about it, and she was like, oh, listen at this. When I first, when she first came out, I was telling her that she needs to change. Close down shop when you get, you know, overwhelmed. Don't keep telling the same post office lie, blah, 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 blah. So, um, it's depressing. It's depressing. It is depressing. Um, what is also, oh, hold on. I have a caller. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hello. It's Crafty Trisha. Hello. How are Hi, you? How are you? Good. <laughs> I'm good. I just wanted to chime in and say hey and you know, just let you know, keep doing keep doing the damn thing. Yay! What you been up to, Mary Woman? Mm-hmm. Girl, trying to take care of myself and practice self-care. Please, please do. I'm getting ready please to go to CPS. Do. Or CPS. Lord have mercy, Jesus. CPC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Oh, are you going to... Can you take some notes for me? Can you get some interviews for me? What can you do for your girl? Oh my goodness, girl! I'm I'm thankful I'm able to make it. Okay. Listen, me but too. Yeah, I know. Just, just I know gearing up for that. Through. I'm excited. Woo, child. Me too. <laughs> Have you done yes. your uh, table make gift yet, girl? No. <laughs> But I will. I have a few more days. We leave on a red eye on Wednesday night at 11.59 p.m. So I have a few days. I have, I have a few days. Okay. And I'm going to okay. make those days <laughs> Okay. So, yes, you need to get to it. All right. Well, I hope you have so much fun when you see Coco. Take a picture for me. I can't I wait to see y'all. I will. I'm going to see you one day soon. I'm going to put that in the atmosphere. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I wish I was in Georgia. I wish I was in uh, Georgia to be coming to you guys meet up and stuff. Y'all look like y'all be having a good time. Listen, I'm telling you, August. Plan for August. August of next year. Yes. Okay, I'll be looking for some details. You never know. You never know because we do travel. Oh my god. 
Yeah, y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm about to jump on a meeting. I just want to call in and say hello to you and, uh, yeah, just keep you encouraged. You're doing great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, go follow, make sure you go follow Crafty Trisha. She is out here. She was one of my first interviews um, that we did on the podcast. She has a huge, uh, uh, what do you call it, scrapbooking group called um, Who Gives a Scrap. She gave so many great designs. She just got married, and she um, – She is planning on scrapbooking her wedding. Um, I'm going to ask her. um, I will ask her those questions and see if she will respond for for you, JC. Crafty Trisha, I know you're on a meeting, but I have questions. They want to hear all about your table mate gifts. What did you give and how did you put it all together? And what do you have plans for in the future? Um, I can talk about my table mate gifts. Um, so this time, because it was a Greece themed, um, I wanted to lean into the beauty school dropout kind of thing. So of course, I gave like a, 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 a lotion, like a body body rub lotion by Dove. I gave some lip chap. Um, what else did we give? Oh, I got some throwback um, candies, like some double bubbles and some crybabies, because, you know, back then it was all chewing on the gum, and that's what they did to be cool. Um, What else did we put in that bag? Oh, I, listen, let me tell you something else. I had someone make some Grease 2 stickers, I mean some Grease stickers. I keep saying Grease 2 because I'm obsessed. Um, Um... So I had some fuzzy socks in there, and I had, oh, that's what it was, and a a pink notebook with a piece of paper. Uh, I mean, with a pen, with a piece of paper, what? It was a notebook, like a a leather notebook with some paper in it, Um, some fuzzy slippers. And I had some grease stickers made, but they did not make it there. So now I don't know what to do with them other than, you know, make a page for myself, but I wish I had everyone's address. I would send it to them, <laughs> but I really loved them. So shout out to um, Let It Be Gnome for making those um, pages for me. Now, I have been th- – okay, so, okay, hear me out. Remember I was just talking about not having meaningless planner items, like I don't need a little scrap of something, and I want to give table make gifts. Um, and not being so overwhelmed. So we were talking about small shop offering. Um, we were talking about small shops offering um, swag to these conferences, and because it's so many people that you have to prepare for, that's how you end up only giving the little bitty tiny inch inch long inch wide square with about five stickers on it, which. Is can be nice, but is it useful, right? So, you know, you know, I've been obsessed with it. Um, well, I was thinking that these small shops could sponsor table make gifts, right? And that would get them out to a whole table full of people. And I do more than just my table, for example. So this one, we had five table mates, oh, well, five people to a table. I made 10 gifts um, because you always see somebody um, that you know or that you admire um, online. Like this time I met um, Ashley from I Have Plans For You. She's so sweet. She has her own shop. Um, I'm going to order something else so I can show you some of the things that she's done. But I've used her spreads um, all the time. Um, So um, I have commissioned – I don't want to say commissioned because it's not the right word, but I've asked JC from Frolic and Brains to think about the table mate gift 
for the next event that I plan on going to, which is really Galentine's with the plan. Um, there is a brunch. I don't want to tell too many people about it, but there is a brunch that's supposed to come out, um, that's supposed to happen December 2nd. Not a lot of tickets, so it'll be like 30 tickets, and it's from Just Be Plans. Um, so I didn't even think about that. Hmm. We could talk about that, too. Hmm. That'd be a different vibe, though. So anyway, anyway, anyway. So I've asked her to, like, if she would like to sponsor table make gifts because that way it'll get Frolic and Brains out there, and it'll also give something else for me to provide as table make gifts um, um, to get more people exposed to the shop. Um, she has these really, first of all, nobody's going to top her in the freebie game, period. Let's just start there. You get so many. Because last time I got a whole journal, a whole um, um, pack of birthday stickers with the envelope. I mean, I mean, with the journal, it's, it's five by seven. Whole journal now, not skimping. It's it's thick, and it's just phenomenal. So nobody's going to top anything like that. But when she's on a smaller scale, she has like a little tiny journal and these little tiny prompts for you to put into your things, and, and they start the journaling process. And it's not just a Google, Googleable, Googleable prompt. It is something that um, – you know, she comes up with out of her very, 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 did I say very smart brain? Um, and I know you've heard her on the show several times, and so you know how deep she can think. So Frolic and Brains is a, really an experience of that. So if you are also looking for someone to journal with, someone to help you, you know, get your life right, check her out at Plans and JC. Um on Instagram, slide into her DMs. So the question arises, how do you go about asking shops to collab and sponsor? And I don't know because I don't really know a lot of shop owners, but I know um, I knew her and I just talked about it and I was like, hmm, Maybe, but she's always down. But I don't really like people to tell me no, so I don't know, which is why my show is still unsponsored. So, I mean, I keep asking y'all to buy me a coffee, and many of you have, and I really appreciate that. Uh, but I don't have to hear you tell me no. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of like, eh. Um, so I don't know. That That's a good question. So I guess we'll be working on that. How do I get – a shop to sponsor table make gifts. How do you say, hey, I'm going to CPC or I'm going to SGS or I'm going to, you know, whatever event and I need 10, you know, table make gifts, would you be willing to sponsor to get your name out there? Um, how would you as a shop owner respond to a question like that? Um, that's a, I mean, that's a, Pretty dope question. Um, I wonder, you know, I wonder how people would respond to that. I think I'll place the question in some planner groups and see what the response is. I mean, hey, all I can do is say, no, I would not like that, or yeah, I would. Um, that would be a good, you know, opportunity, which I think all of it is a good opportunity. Um I need to, you know, find a way to to be able to ask people to, would you like to sponsor this episode? How, you know, what would be the best ways to do it? What do you look for in a sponsor of an episode? What do you, um, what am I, what what is the, the exchange? And, you know, the, the fucked up part is, really, that so many people are gatekeepers to it that they're not going to want to share no matter what. Whether they know how to do it or not, if they know how to get sponsors or not, so many people are asshats and don't want to just share. Like, it's a million loaves of bread on the shelf, bro. You can tell me. Just like 
uh, where'd you get your art from? I'm not going to buy the same exact art you got. I'm not going to try to take that away from you. I'm just trying to get my foot out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate that as not even just a community of planners, but as a society, period. It kind of sucks that um, we're so me, 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 me that you don't ever want to see anybody else succeed or you don't want to share the wealth. Like, girl, Picasso didn't just keep the paint for himself. He was giving it to his homeboy. They was all getting high and pain together. The opioid, you think them pains didn't make make sense because they weren't sharing their drugs? They weren't sharing the pain? They were doing all that. He was sharing the wealth. So I think that that's only, you know, that's only fair. Um, Let's see. Did I have anything else to talk about? Do you have anything to say? Um, I'll give you a couple of minutes to give us a give a call. 515-602-9680. Um, I guess that's it for – oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Big and Betty. Too long. Big and Betty is still begging. Okay? I found some stuff. She's talking about uh, a flood that happened. Um, I don't know when this flood happened, but she's been using this flood as a as as a, a begging tool for a while now. So I've dug did some digging, found a, a blog that talks about her and you know, they dogging old girl, but not anything about the planner community. This is they were dogging her way before the planning com, planner community. Like these these posts go back six months, and and they're just talking about how unhinged she seems, uh, about her heroin addiction, about her family vlogs, about how she doesn't have three out of four of her kids, how she sees baby is a redemption baby. Like, they going in. Like, I haven't even finished reading all of it. But I'm disappointed that she's still asking for stuff. She just received so much stuff. She got um, um, Go Get a Girl stuff. She got the Philo Facts. She got, I mean, and these things are not cheap. And yet the go getter bound one wasn't what she wanted. She needs a disc bound one. The the Filofax ring wasn't good. Now she needs personal. Then she needed A five. Like she's not gonna be satisfied. Maybe she's just like your mother. She's never satisfied. You hear me? Never. So just don't give in. If you see somebody if you know a post, if you see people getting ready to, how do you stop that? How do you say, you know, hey, you've done this too much now, that's enough? How do you how do you tell somebody, hey, no, don't give to her, she's been asking for a while? How do we as a community stop this? I don't know either. Um, hold one moment, I have another caller, yay! Hey, caller, you're on the air. Hey, it's Monica. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? I am fine. I am amazing. I'm so glad you called. I'm so glad you called in. Yes, I did. I called in because your idea of connecting with smaller shops for planner events is actually the way I did my Go Wild when I went to Go Wild. Mm. Um I connected with the shops that I cared about because I figured my stuff would have their stuff anyways. So I kind of made it like I'm going to rep I'm like my team. So when I contacted the shops, I explained to them that I really loved them, that I was going to get, you know, stickers and goodies for my table mates anyways. So because I wanted to rep them like a, like a sports team, I would like, if possible, we can set up an arrangement for me to buy multiples of their favorite stuff. And it was easier for me to, like, talk to people because then, like, I was already, like, the stickers and everything was part of my crew, part of my love. It was what I was going to talk about anyway, presented me. Yeah, so did they give you, um, like, a discount? 
I did get a discount um, from the shop, and I also picked, like, uh, I, I'm the kind of person that, like, when I ref a love a shop, I will get to know the people, get to know the, the company, the owners, and that stuff. You know, like, I'll be in their DMs all the time. So I was talking about how excited <laughs> I was about going to go wild. So, like, I kind of shared my excitement, asked them if they were going. They let me know that they were not. And then I offered them, like, hey, I have to. I, I'm doing this table make gift stuff. Is it possible that I rent your shop? So that's, that's free advertisement. Yes. Yeah. And then it was also I nice because I was able to connect with people about like stuff I cared about, like you know. And then like, and they the people the own the shops knew me, so they keep they were able to like. I told them, do what you want, surprise me, you know me, you know what I like. I love bows, so, like, all my stuff had bows, like, representations of me, but it was it was what I cared about. Oh, I love that. So, they were very receptive right off the bat. Yeah. That is awesome. And I also I, told I them I with no obligation. Still love the shop? I do, but I told them, like, hey, if you can't do it, like, no rush, I understand this is, like, it, it's not in your, because the, the shops that I chose were small shops, so I told them, like, hey, if you don't have the ability right now, like, it's all good, let me know. Like, I'm reaching out to you before I go to the, you know, like, for example, for Go Wild, they have official people that do, you know, that you can get your contact cards and da-da-da, and I was like, before I go there, can I, can I, can I talk to you? Oh, nice. I love that. I love that. And how many people go to Go Wild? Like 500? Yeah. Ooh. About, yeah, it was, a, it was a big group of people. And I also, I was Are like you? you, I did my table mate gift, but I also had, like, they ended up giving, the shops that ended up agreeing gave me extra. So I was like, I'll put it on the table. Like, I'll send out to people, friends I meet. So I had, like, always something to give to somebody. Yeah, I really love that. I really love that. That's that's kind of the way I do things. Are you um, going to this next Go Wild? <laughs> it's interesting that you asked me that, considering how well you know my mentality. Um, considering the state that it's in, I do not feel comfortable because that state does not represent my community very well. Um, if I'm going to give my money to a to a location, I want it to represent me and like all parts of my community. And with the immigration ideology in the state of Texas, I can't support that. Yeah, as a big old raging homo, I also have, uh, you know, setbacks on on considering it. Um, and it's just high shit. But if they ever came, you know, someplace closer, I would definitely try to get there. I would yeah, try. Yeah, I went for, really? I went when they were in California, well, Southern California, when they were in Anaheim. That's not my version of California. I'm L.A. County girl, so the area they were was not necessarily to my liking. Like, it wouldn't have been my first choice, but I understood. Like, I'm a big Disney fan, so I understood, like, you're coming to California. You're going to go to Disney, so why not have a convention near there? Um, right, of course. So, but I also brought a little bit of my community. Like, I brought Mexican candy that I bought from a local from a local family that I know very well. So, like, I supported yes. that way, too, repre- representing my Mexican culture, my version of what, Los, you know, Cal- Southern California is. And then I also... Rec- the first day we had dinner there, my roommate um, wanted Mexican food, so I represented and ordered from a Mexican restaurant that I like. So therefore, like people were in, and we purposely ate in the lobby so people would be like ask us where the food was from. So I supported that restaurant too by, you know, recommending good Mexican food. I love that. And a family I love that. restaurant. When we were in uh, Nashville, we went to um, a local Mexican spot called Mexicali. It wasn't a chain. It was just like that one, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. 
Yeah, I think I I I was sad because when I when it was like as much as I'm not happy with it being in Texas, I didn't want to go to Bucky. <laughs> I was like debating that, but I know there'll be other go wild and I'll be okay. And I'm with the at the point that will go wild came, I wanted to do it and just my heart just told me no. But now with the way my life is going currently with my health situation, I think it was somewhat for the better. And I'll pick a different state. There'll be other there'll be other go wild. Yes, and there are other buckies because I just went to my first one last weekend. But I'll be going to West Coast. Oh, West Coast planners. Yeah, I'll be going to West Coast planner event, and I am also doing the same as you. I contacted um J C to possibly make me a some goodies for my for my table and make gifts. But I think I'm gonna do the same. Okay. I think I'm definitely gonna pass out. Like I want the stuff that I pass out for it to scream, um, Monica. Not to scream like my planner handle. Like you're get, you're meeting me in person. I wanted to scream Monica. Right. Right. Yeah, I always give out something extra gay, a bookmark, something. <laughs> so you Yeah, I think I'm doing I, I think I'm gonna do Met Candy or because you know, I'm on this little health journey, I might do like um fruta or something like that. Maybe try to see if I can contact uh a local street um uh, street vendor to see. You can give them little can... tiny bottles of tahini. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not really representing me because I don't like it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay you're right, you're right. But I think that maybe, maybe I know that, um, I don't know, I'm thinking of, like, talking to possibly hiring an elotero and maybe doing an elotero hour where you get free elote and, like, kind of, I don't know, I haven't really figured that out. But I think, I think that's kind of where are going but also I have to like see what the hotel and the hotel we're staying and all this stuff so as of right now I have lots of thoughts but well, I'm I not love sure it. what the plan I is love it. worst comes to worst my roommate and I get a great bottle of tequila and share it and listen yo quiero tequila también yeah tequila sí pero yeah yeah. All the way. All right. Well, thank you so much for calling. I appreciate you. No problem. Have a wonderful week. All right. You too. Have a good week. And girl, we need a DM because I have lots of thoughts when it comes to my um my bad bun album. So we need, a, <laughs> okay, we, need, okay. we need to talk about that because I'm not a Taylor girl. I'm a bad bun girl. So yeah, we'll definitely okay. talk about that. Later. I need to have a good one. One good time. You too. All right. Bye. All right, everybody. Shout out to Penny Pincher Planner. That is Monica. She is cool as a fan and very outspoken. She's she's a Disney stan. So if that's your jam, go check her out. Um, We love to see it. Thank you so much to all the callers. Um, please make sure that you check out all the shops that we named. We talked about the Copper Peony, P-E-O-N-Y. We talked about vodka and tonic designs. We talked about the Cover Up Queens or Planner Palooza officials. They're having um, an online boo bash on Tuesday night. It is a Zoom call. I think we're going to do some games. Um, I think that will be fun. Also, check out... Frolic and Brains, which is Plans and JC. And check out my girl, Her Disorganized Plans. Follow her just in case she decides to go back to Planner Court. You know what? Maybe we need to have another episode of Planner Court on the show. I wonder if that'll work. I mean, we can't see the twerking, but Planner Court is always fun. That could be a recurring segment. Hmm. I just want to hear my... Dun, 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 d
Um, thank you so much for following Real Talk with Riri. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Real Talk Real Plans. Join the realists because we be having fun in there. We show our spreads, and down it ain't even no judgment. Like, we don't care. I don't know if you saw much today, but we create art that is just for us. We don't give a fuck who like it. Um, we just we just love it. Um, I, I would also like to give a shout out to my messy desk today. The craft lab looks a mess. I barely have my laptop toppled over. I might even take a picture just to show you that we don't care what we got going on. Um, shout out to everybody who checked on me uh, while I was sounding like we the F baby because your girl was sounding, like I said, like a grizzly bear. But I'm better now. I'm back and better than better than before. Um, and shout out to everybody who contributed to us reaching one of our goals for the year, which was over 2,000 listens. Y'all going to make me cry. It really, really means a whole lot to me that you guys have listened and stuck in here. Um, it really makes me happy. So I can just say thank you from the bottom of my congestive failed heart. I really appreciate you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So thank you so much. Uh we really appreciate you. Um and I really do love you guys and I stand you and if you need me, if there's anything I can do for you, you let me know. If there's anything you can do for me, I'm going to ask. And the first thing I'm going to say is don't forget, you can always go buy me a coffee. The link is in my LinkedIn tree in my bio. You can, and if, you know, if you don't like the show, tell a friend to tell a, tell a friend, you know, share to your stories, do something. But um, thank you so much for your support, your kind words. And listen, be on the lookout for my live because I'm going to go live just so I can say hey to everybody. Ten times over. You hear me? I'm saying hey. Hey, so-and-so. Hey, so-and-so. And we're just going to kiki and have a good time. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to do it. All right? Thank you so much. We love you. And I can't wait to see you. Remember, you guys, keep it messy and not malicious. And we're going to go out to something different tonight just because we in a vibe. Let's go. For the ones who get it done, the most important part is the one you need now. And the best partner is the one who can deliver. That's why millions of maintenance and repair pros trust Granger, Because we have professional-grade supplies for every industry, even hard-to-find products. And we have same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. But most importantly, we have an unwavering commitment to help keep you up and running. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. 
More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.